Dang it. I always forget how to close it, so I was hoping to get to a scan. We have space pirates coming in. A new unit as well already. First. And this kind of becomes a regular ish objective. Not what I was scanning for, but thank you. That is. Base pirate armor, mil armored militia. So they are heavily armored. They don't flash red right away. They flash yellow because their defense they are defended. Ugh, that guy had to make the jump. Gotta circle around, get the power cell. Energy cell acquired. Return cell to its socket. Now, this is also another important collectible across the rest of the game in and twist now of course doing this brings our system online so all the doors close around me and we have little mites coming in Give me the scan of the mites. Crawl mine. The little crawl mines aren't the things to be concerned about. It's the big ones that are. Turn into a morph ball. We are now safe underneath. And we want to go this way. So it looks like uh, Icicle is doing just a splendid job. We get our first energy tank. Excellent. First power ups are always great. And we're going to use this to travel quickly across the ship. Security lock in place. Engage local security. Which is that. That just requires a scan to open. Now that's a bomb slot, that should be a scan. Yes it is. It will open the airlock. Okay. So Gendrea is doing stuff there. We have to hurry to get to that military unit. But we don't have the tools to do it.
so what we need it should be noted that I don't think we actually go through the process of losing our equipment. We just start off with less equipment. However, that's about to change right now as we arm ourselves with the missile launcher. This is a very linear intro section. Metroid is known for being non-linear by design. But Metroid Prime 2 became a bit more linear as progression required a lot of the end game items. Get the scan ready. I'm positive there was... Yeah, those guys. Get ready for the scan. Arrow mine. A series of Shoot here and win shooting. Come in here for another save, which is important because we are about to hit another a mini boss. Out. Game saved. The goal of today is to complete the objectives on Norian. I have no doubt we will do it, but still have to make the statement. Oh, something died. Yes, get my ship out of here. This, I think, is the result of the Omega Pirate program from Metroid Prime. They're now called Berserk Lord, as phaseite plating has been put onto them. Make sure you are locked and you want to shoot the orbs. Okay. Get a charge going. Okay, charges are not necessary. But they might make breaking these glowing orbs easier to break. Ooh, lots of phase on spit. Come on. Shoot the break. I usually don't get through this boss without taking some form of damage, so I'm very happy with the progress that I am making. I need 
those. And now the top is exposed. Go for victory. Ow. Go for victory. Go for victory. Okay. We gotten for victory. Let's see what that da ba da ba da thing was all about. Oh, Nintendo news. Nothing of high importance, but I think. Oh, that Galactic Federation ship should have watched where he was going. It's definitely Galactic Federation 2. It was not a pirate ship. We call our ship back, and that's going to be something that we get to deal with here in a little bit. Because this game is vastly different from its predecessor. Berserker Lord defeated. We just want to enter the ship. We don't need to save. Activating. And right there. Norian. Let's go land. Okay. Here we are on the Norian outpost. Okay, so we have some objectives to do. We have one, two, and three generators to get back online. I think this is just a security engaged system. Hit the four targets, disengage the system. There is an item that we require in here. Which is this. Now before you think, this is the grapple hook. It's not. This is the Grapple Lasso. Lock onto grapple points and cast the nunchuck to fire. Pull nunchuck back quickly. So what this permits us to do, first of all, we have a new scan here. The Planet Norian. 
Though located on the fringe of the Federation, the planet Norian is of great importance. The military maintains a strong presence in the sector, and the base on Norian is often the first line of defense against enemies that operate outside of GF space. Originally a barren orbit, a barren orb incapable of sustaining life, a sophisticated terraforming project designed by Aurora Unit 486 has turned Norian into a hardy forest world. I believe that's the exact same words as the Aurora Unit on GFS Olympus. So we may get some uh, mixed messages here. Oh, that's for scanning. Pull, twist, in. And up we go. It is important to get the grapple also first because this loading time here between floors could be annoying if you weren't prepared. Okay. Like right here. That's what the grapple also is for. And there are more things to do with it. Okay, those guys don't have logs. Security access panel, hinges appear fragile if you pull hard. Uh, security system in effect. Eliminate enemy presence to restore panels. So what that's saying is get rid of these guys. And I think there are two groups. There's also going to be lots of rebels to tear away. Make sure enemy presence is gone. Okay. Let's go take a look at that panel now. Activate. There's a small latch. This was the introduction to the spring ball. Need to time this correctly here. I don't know where this drone came from, but it's a little scary. And we're out. And we got a new uh, missile expansion. Which, for those who are wondering, missiles are behind me. So, during the process of this, 
You will never know how many missiles I have. But that is not to be a concern. And the chair that is broken started sinking on me. Because of course it did. Okay. We are ready to proceed. Oh look! More health. It's almost as if health is going to be important in this game. You cannot just uh, rush through. You do have to go through that uh, mini pipe. Uh, next tunnel here. Do not forget to scan these. The red blast shields are very limited in resources. You will want to scan them as soon as you see them. This is the map download. So as you can see, we have a few rooms to get through, a few rooms to get through, and a few rooms to get through in all three directions. This is a very linear tutorial, and do not forget to scan for scans. Subject is a veteran of the Liberation War of Wotan 7. Only 6% of subject's birth body remains. The rest is state-of-the-art cyberware. Despite his career and heavy cybernetic modifications, Subject is known for his high level of empathy and compassion. Gore is rather gentle and approaches situations logically, but is not the most skilled of fighters. Intel suggests he even has a sense of humor. Subject has often championed the weak, poor, and downtrodden. Working for free or giving bounty money earned to the victims of his targets. That's actually really sweet. Subject can merge his cybernetic body into larger mechanisms, including gunships and fighter craft. This merging will allow alter Gore's personality, and he will become incredibly aggressive and violent. Data indicates a high proficiency with computer infiltration and manipulation high level of mechanical empathy with artificial intelligence. So we've learned just a bit about Gore. Now let's learn about Rundus. Subject is a native of Phrygus, a moon of planet uh, Bess 3, known primarily for ice mining. The Phrygisians Ability to manipulate and generate ice has come in handy in Subject's career as a bounty hunter. Intel suggests he enjoys hunting, to the point where he keeps trophies from all of the targets he successfully captured or killed in his career. Subject is proud, cocky, and arrogant, and considers himself without rival in, the, in his field. That is not true. He does consider Samus to be his rival. And then we have this one. Gendreda. Subject homeworld unknown. Possesses metamorphic abilities similar to the biomorphs of Jovia 12. Can assume the form and abilities of most living things, including bioforms considerably larger than the subject. Scans are unable to determine subject's age, but psyche, ev 
psych eval suggests a high degree of youthfulness. Intel suggests that bounty hunting is akin to a sport for her, one she enjoys considerably. Subject perceives the veteran hunter Samus Aran as her chief rival, a rival she intends to surpass as soon as possible. Maybe I am wrong about Rundus. I thought he considered Samus a rival. Maybe he considers Samus a friend? Anyways, we got some background about the three key hunters of this game. Uh-huh. That's how I'm supposed to get past. Ow. Oh. Shoot. Be careful. There are things to scan up ahead. Jump mines. Caught me by surprise because I couldn't see from above. We got the scan of the door so we can blast it open. 